In Project Community tonight, Vermont's lone member of the U.S. House voicing strong support for a bill that will be voted on this week. It calls for increased resources to respond to hate crimes against Asian people. Jack Thurston has that story. I think that it's a great start. Jeff Liu is talking about a bill now making its way through Congress that's aimed at addressing the rise in hate crimes against people of Asian descent since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. The messaging from the top for a while had just been like, China virus, China virus, that like it also helps to have messaging from the top that's also like, this is not okay. I think it's appalling to Vermonters to see any kind of discrimination. Vermont Congressman Peter Welch Monday discussing his strong support of the measure. As rallies around the country call for ending violence and discrimination against Asian communities, the bill would give the Justice Department new resources, support states in setting up hotlines and training investigators, and launch education campaigns. We have to do everything we can to stop what has been an increasing level of violence directed towards Asian Americans. To you personally, what would passage of this bill mean? Raising awareness is something that will help everyone. Hate is a virus. Advocates for Vermont's 12,000 or more Asian identifying residents say even though the state has a reputation for safety, attacks elsewhere have left many here worried. It just takes one person to cause harm. And they point to reports from around Vermont of race-related bullying or incidents like Asian people getting the middle finger for no apparent reason. Everybody in our country deserves to feel safe and I hope legislation like this brings us one step closer to that reality. And I'm hopeful. Jeff Liu knows it'll take time to make everyone in the U.S. feel truly comfortable, but he says work toward that goal has to start somewhere, so he's glad for the attention from Congress. And Representative Welch said he is hoping for strong bipartisan support for that hate crimes bill. It already passed the Senate 94 to 1. In South Burlington, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.